let me show you right now how to minimize the standard POS expression. First, I'm going to show you how to set up the Carnav map. This is the standard Carnav map. And if you want to prepare this for simplifying POS product of the sums, you're supposed to write again B, B, because B is my most significant bit, and A, A at the top, because A is the least significant bit. But this time, because we are dealing with POS, anytime you will have zero, you are going to have B next to it. Anytime you have one, you are going to have B naught. Zero, you will have A, and one will give me A naught. Okay, this is the way how you're supposed to set the K map for POS. Next, look at the problem. I have B or A. B or A. I have to write zero in this cell. Next, I have B or A naught. B or A naught. So I'm going to have another zero over here. We can group zeros for two variable K map in groups of one, two, and four. Because these two zeros are next to each other, I can group them. And I'm going to have group placed in one row and two columns. So on the left side of my row, I'm going to have B. Remember, anytime I have group placed in one row, I simply copy down whatever is on the side of that row. So I'm going to have simply B. At the top of these two columns, I have complements. Anytime I have complements, I simply ignore them. That's why this is the simplified Boolean expression. If you want to implement this, this is nothing else, just the point on the diagram labeled B. These are the solutions to my problem. Next example. Again, we are dealing with POS. I have B or A. B or A. I have to write zero in this cell, cell zero. B naught or A naught. B naught or A naught. I have to write zero over here. And I have B naught or A. B naught or A. Zero over here. I can create two groups. This is one group and this is the second group. At the side of this group, I have complements. Remember, anytime we have complements, we ignore them. By the way, you can start from any group, because some people ask me from which group I'm supposed to start. You're supposed to start from anyone. And when we are going to ignore these two complements, I have to copy down everything, whatever is at the top of this column. I have A. At the left side of this row, I have B naught. So I have to multiply everything by B naught. And at the top, I have complements. I ignore them. I use multiplication over here. Remember, we are dealing with the product of the sum. Okay, so we have to use the product and answer simply is nothing else just A, B naught. If you want to implement it, this is nothing else just end gate. With input A and inverted input B. And this is the output X. So these are the solutions to my problem.